So if you want to jam with people in real time, more or less over the internet, then you're going to want to have two apps installed on your computer or two programs. One is called Sonobus, and that is free. And the other one is called the Reaper, which again is free until you feel like paying for it. Um, if you get enough use out of it, you are welcome to pay for a license. This here is Reaper. So I have a blank session opened up. Yours might look a little bit different than this just because I've moved my layout around, but more or less, this is what you're going to see. So to begin, we're going to start by making a new track to hear our instrument on. I'll right click in this area here and select insert new track or hit command T on a Mac, control T on Windows. I'm going to name this track guitar and then I'm going to choose my input. For my interface, I have my guitar coming in on this mic line high Z1 input. Uh, and it's mono because it's not a stereo signal, it's just my guitar, it's one signal, one channel. So mono input there. Now if I hit arm, we can see my guitar is coming through. I have it plugged into my interface. So that's all good. I'm just gonna turn that off for now. Next we're gonna come over to the master track over here and we're gonna insert a couple of things. There are uh, several ways to do this. Uh, one is to use the FX button and that will bring up this window where you can choose what you want to add. Or you can simply select one of these open slots and it will open up the same window. So here we're first going to add something called a limiter. A limiter is simply something that stops the audio from peaking above zero decibels. So just in case we have something go wrong with our audio, uh, we want to make sure that it doesn't blow the ears of the people we're jamming with. So you should have this rear limit by Cocos, that's the company that makes Reaper. It works well enough for what we need to do. We're just gonna be cutting the signal at zero decibels here, making sure if something goes wrong, our audio doesn't blast anyone. With that on, we're good to go. That's all you have to do there. Next, we're gonna add Sonobus. So click on the another open slot under your limiter or open up that effects browser again. And this time we're gonna search for the developer called Sonosaurus and we're gonna add the VST Sonobus. Not the one that says instrument, just the one that says Sonobus. So I hit add, and then there it is. You can expand the window if you'd like, uh, but this is the tool that we're going to be using to connect with other people. Now before we connect, we're gonna change a couple of settings here. Firstly, you're gonna select this middle setting and select send mono. Because we're only sending our guitar, we don't need to send a big multi-channel audio source. We just need to send one channel. That would be our mono channel. Next, you wanna make sure that this bar over here called monitor is turned up. That's gonna allow you to actually hear your instrument while you're playing. Next, you're gonna open up the input mixer so you can see your levels and you can adjust anything here um, while you're jamming with people. You know, maybe the metronome is a little too loud, bring it down there. This is just nice to see. And finally, we have one more setting to look at before we connect. And that's not in Sonobus, but that's in Reaper. So we'll go back into Reaper and we're gonna go options and right way at the bottom here, settings or command comma is the shortcut on Mac. And you're gonna find the audio settings here and device. This is going to be your audio device that is processing audio like your interface. So here I have my Universal Audio Thunderbolt interface selected. That's my Apollo Twin. And I want to select the request sample rate and request block size. And here I'm going to type in 128. Don't worry too much about this number if you don't know what it means. This number, the lower it is, is essentially going to be a faster processing time for your instrument through your interface. Which means when you play your guitar string, you're going to hear it back quicker. So there won't be such a lag. You might see the number to start is uh, 1024. That number is going to be a little bit more lag, but it's going to make sure that there is no kind of interruption in your audio signal. So you can go between these numbers if you're having like crackling and issues with getting clean audio, then maybe you want to try something like 256 or 512 or both common numbers to use. Um, but if you are feeling like there's too much lag in when you play and when you hear back your guitar, then bring it back down to about 128 or even 64 if you have a really good um, audio interface and good processing power in your computer. So with that, we can hit apply. 
we'll kind of adjust our audio settings and hit OK. And at this point, you might want to add your favorite amp plugin or kind of effects chain into your guitar channel. So to do that, you just have to hit the FX button to open up our browser again and find whatever you want to add. So in this case, I'm just going to add Neural DSP Archetype Pliny, let's say. Finally, we're going to go back into Sonobus. And then I'm going to click this little red button here next to the guitar. Basically, it means that we're ready to record on that track and it's listening to our instrument. So now we can see that our instrument is hearing signal on the track and inside Sonobus. So we're getting this green bar here. That's good. We can hear our instrument. If you have your monitor down still, you're not actually going to hear your instrument, even though the bar is there. So turn that up so you can hear it. So now I'm going to hit connect. And I'm going to make a random group called eight metal strings. And I'm going to make a password called guitar connect group. And here we go. So we're in the group. We can see our audio is coming through. There's nobody else in the group right now, but if there were, then they would be able to hear our audio signal. Now, if you want to be able to talk to the people as well in your group, you can use discord or zoom to be able to talk with them and video chat with them while your instrument is going through this interface. Uh, but if you want to be able to do everything in one spot and not have to use Discord or Zoom, then we can do that pretty easily. All we're going to have to do is add another track here. We're going to call it voice or microphone, or whatever you like to keep track. You're going to make sure you select your input on whatever uh, channel your microphone is coming in through. So mine is coming in through line two. Mono again, because it's just a single channel of audio. And then if I hit arm, we should hear as I'm talking in my microphone now, there is an audio signal. Perfect. And it's coming through Sonobus already, just like that. If you want at this point, because you have two audio sources, you can change your mono to a stereo signal. And this is going to send your guitar and voice as a stereo signal that can then be panned. So what I mean by that is you can send everything to the right channel, you can send everything to the left channel, or adjust as you see fit. I'm just going to send mono. I think that's good enough because I'm not going to be talking and playing at the same time. So one channel is good enough. So now I have my voice and there's my guitar and both of those things are going through some of us and I can now jam with people. One little pro tip here, use headphones while you're doing this, because if you have your speakers and monitors playing back the sounds of your own instrument and other people, and you have a microphone picking up audio, you're going to feedback. So we have the limiter in place just in case that happens. So nobody's ears get blown out, but let's just avoid that by using headphones right from the get go. Finally, when you're done jamming or when you're just done setting this all up, it's a good idea to save this so that you don't have to rebuild it every time you want to go in and jam with people. So you can save the project or you could even save this as a template. If you maybe want to come into this and add to it in the future, it can just start as a basic template, but I will just save the project as, and then your browser will pop up and you can choose where you'd like to save it. And that should be it. You should be ready to go to jam with your friends online.